since the lady basement is such a big area for heat loss, we wanted to come outside on a different house and point out a few things about insulating basements that you might be noticing. <clears throat> on this house, you can see where they've actually taken a half inch of rigid insulation and covered up the concrete foundation to try to keep some of that heat inside the house. Basements are a huge area for heat loss because concrete walls are extremely inefficient at keeping heat in. They have the same R value, the same insulation value, as a single pane window, or this is a double pane. This, is, this window has more insulation value than a bare concrete wall. What they've done here is they've covered it with a concrete <coughs> type of material so you can't see the rigid insulation and it doesn't break down. But over time you can see where this, this insulation is settled because they only have it right below the surface of the ground. So it's settled down a bit. There's, this is an obvious area for heat loss here. And then if we step back a bit, you can see where this entire piece has been lost and it's, been, it's, it's no longer there. So this concrete wall here, we can see plain as day with our infrared camera where this heat loss is going right through this wall here. So it's absolutely vital that we insulate basements properly. Okay, we're down in the, in the basement and we're actually in one of the little rooms in the back and we can see the wall up here has no insulation on it. Um, so there's a lot of different options for there. I think some kind of a styrofoam insulation uh, would, would be good. Uh, the fiberglass insulation, like you see up in the rim joist here, that's all done, but that can cause some problems with moisture. You know, if, if you're in a wet environment, um, you want to be real careful with that stuff. So the fiberglass will work, but just make sure that it's, it's a dry environment. The other thing, this, this little room here, also is connected to the bathroom and there's a big gap in there uh, which is going to allow moisture from the bathroom to get into this area and it's probably since it's isolated from the heating system it's going to be colder in this area and it's going to cause condensation so that that's not a good thing either that should be sealed we're down inside the basement now of this house and we're going to talk about some of the things that you need to concentrate on and you need to focus on when it comes to looking at uh, insulating basement walls and some issues that are involved with that. The, uh, the big thing is moisture, health and safety because that moisture can really affect your health and safety. We certainly want to be concerned with the energy aspects of these basement walls but health and safety always comes first. But the thing to remember is that uh, concrete is a terrible insulator that heat can pass right through this and right out through your house. And if it's not insulated, it's going to cost you a lot of money. A couple of different things to think about though is we can see where uh, this homeowner has taken some expanding spray foam insulation. Obviously they had some cracks in the foundation here so they tried to fill those up to try to keep some of that heat in there. But this basement here, this portion of the basement, is not even insulated. So that heat's going to be going right through the actual solid concrete. And these cracks are going to be a little, you know, a big issue because it's passing air through. The other thing is the type of insulation, if you're looking to insulate this, you need to think about that. We pulled this piece of fiberglass insulation that was jammed up in this rim joist here, and you can see how dirty this insulation is, how black that is. Fiberglass is a good insulator, but it's a terrible air barrier. So that air can pass right through this fiberglass insulation. It does have the craft tape around it, will slow it down a bit, but if you don't seal those gaps around it, it's going to pass right through, bring with it the heat, and this insulation is in essence useless. The other thing to remember is, with this fiberglass insulation, with that air passing through, it can take moisture with it. And that moisture can collect, and we can create mold and, mildew, mold and mildew issues inside of the insulation. And then if I cover it up, if I finish this basement up, that's creating even more problems. Because if I see these cracks here, I know moisture is leaking through these cracks, and I can see that in some spots. And if that's covered up with drywall and framed out, foundation, I can't see those problems going on behind there. The ideal is I want to make sure that any wood, any framing members that come in contact with the foundation wall are treated wood. The other thing is if it's something that uh, is mold, mold or mildew resistant, kind of like this rigid insulation, I can put my rigid insulation right against the wall then I can fur out my framing. I take my two by fours or whatever it is that I'm going to frame out from and put it up against that so I don't have the problems of mold and mildew throwing against that. That's a tough one to say.